I'm Joy McCarthy, holistic nutritionist and author. So a question I get all the time is, Joy, should I go gluten-free? And what do I think about that? So I always tell everyone, if you have never taken gluten out of your diet before, then I do recommend trying it for at least 10 days up to three weeks and just seeing how you feel. Most people, especially people who suffer from eczema, uh, or acne immediately notice a difference. For me personally, I used to get terrible acne on my knuckles and on my feet, so much so it would actually bleed. And it's interesting because that was also the time when I ate a lot of wheat. For breakfast, I would have like bran cereal, which is wheat. For lunch, I used to eat a wrap. So I'd have like a whole wheat wrap. I thought it was healthy. And then for dinner, I may have whole wheat pasta. And I had no idea that these foods, that wheat and gluten was actually increasing inflammation in my body and I wasn't digesting it properly, and therefore it was actually impacting my skin. So when I cut it out, when I just took a break from it, not only did my eczema completely disappear, along with addressing lifestyle factors and keeping stress in check as well, but the other thing that happened was my digestion improved dramatically. So when you're eating foods that you're sensitive to, they can also really negatively impact your gut health. So if you're eating a lot of bread and cereal products and you're sensitive to gluten and a large percent a large percentage of the population is if you're eating these every day it can cause digestive problems it can cause everything from constipation to diarrhea pain gas bloating uh, for me it was like bloating constant bloating so when you cut it out you will notice a difference right away and the other problem is that Bread and wheat, it's just not the same as it was when our great grandparents were eating it. Wheat has been so changed over the last hundred years. It's been hybridized. It's actually worse than genetic modification. And I personally don't think that modern wheat is actually fit for human consumption. So if you are going to eat wheat and you want to have a good relationship with wheat, then always choose certified organic, um, properly fermented. So like a sourdough that takes a few days to rise as opposed to modern wheat, which might rise in a couple of hours. This has a much different effect effect on our digestive system. And whenever we think of our beauty and we think of our skin, we always wanna come back to our digestive system and look at how well is it functioning. Because if it's functioning optimally, then we're absorbing all of the nutrients we need for beautiful skin. But if we're chronically eating foods that we're sensitive to, we're hampering our digestion, we're increasing inflammation, we're not going to actually properly absorb nutrients. And the scary thing is we will absorb more foreign particles uh, that can cause more inflammation in the body if our gut starts to become leaky. I know it's a complicated subject, but it's really important to consider that there are foods like gluten to take a break from. And it's also sneaky, sugar as well as sneaky, but gluten is hidden in a lot of foods. So you wanna do a little Google search and find out all of the different names of gluten. What could it be hidden in if you really wanna truly take a break from it?